Hola, amigos. Feels so good to have my blonde back. Ugh. Yay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I had a funky, funky dream yesterday. Funky, funky. It really just helped me put it all together. What's really happening? Why the earthquakes? Yada, yada, yada. I'm showing the cleavage. Yeah, I live by the beach, dude, and I can feel it's gonna be another hot, cloudy day, which is weird. But um, anyways, let's get to it. So, <clears throat> and shout out to Donnie from H3D TV. I want to give him a plug because he has subscribed to my channel and he's popular. <laughs> so this is not part of my dream, but months ago I had um, this 9-11 epiphany, Gate of Apollo, Father Times Kronos. So anytime you see 9-11, you can always just assume that it's a gate and it is a mess with time, a wrinkle in time, if you may. Um, where did all this come from? Anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyways. So this is like my notebook of channel messages. And to let you guys know, anytime there's like a dream or a vision or an epiphany, I refer to this book. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, here's some more Gate of Apollo. Uh, I can't really explain this right now. They are in the past in my videos. Um, I'll probably have to go back and figure stuff out, but there is a major shift um, on this timeline of April 27th. And ever since then, things haven't been really the same. Um, oh. I did something here. Um, the synchronicity was with Islam. So then my dream, it's kind of funky because my dream was, I was going through my notebook and I'm having a deja vu right now because this is exactly what I was instructed to do was to all these synchronicities of this book were from this year and I'm going to tie it all together. Okay, so June yesterday was the 15th, right? My wrist isn't hurting. Why was there an earthquake? When these mathematic, mathematical numbers add up, to a single digit, the last is six. And I was tripping out because the earthquake was a 7.4 downgraded to a 7.2. And it was 577 miles from the city of a name that means port. You know, the port of something is the edge. And the closest word of um, two uh, Taranga is Tondra, which is Mark. You do the numbers of this 577, it equals 19. Then you go to a single digit of 1 and 9, it's a 1. But even if you played around with it, it said 9 and 9 is 18, you still have a 9. And you still have a 1. <clears throat> so you have an equal value of itself. One, it's constant. This is what I was saying two videos ago about how 4D and one are the same uh, construct because one is an equal value of itself, whether you multiply, divide. Um, so that's it. Moving on to my dream, it was about Iran and the war. Please don't cut me off camera. Please let me just have this message to my viewers who only understand what I say. Um, 
No funny business, please. <laughs> Why Iran? Why the war? Um, and then also, I was watching <laughs> my friend um, Ascending Angel 1111's video about um, New Kids on the Block. And I was thinking, like, why Spice Girls? Oops. Why New Kids on the Block? Did I get that right? And then for uh, why Escape? Um, who else is doing a throwback? Like Gwen Stefani, I saw her uh, doing a residency in Vegas. Um, these are all like going back in time. And it's at the exact same time as this war in Iran is starting. And I was thinking like, hmm, this is starting. It's elevating. And then there was an earthquake in, Austria, in um, New Zealand. So it only reminded me that there was a Stargate. And in Indonesia, there's constant earthquakes there. So there's a frequency between Indonesia and New Zealand, because New Zealand had a second earthquake this year. The volcano in Hawaii is another Stargate of frequency. Um, or if you were to put Hawaii over here, I don't really know exactly where the continents lie, but if this were like North America, then you have the Middle East. Um, I don't know, New Zealand. This is the way everybody sees it. Um, Australia, I'm sorry, Australia's here. Antarctica is here. New Zealand would be way over here. And Asia would be over here. So what happens is you have... This is um, Indonesia. You have a triangle. It's not a perfect triangle for me, but that's what I thought was. How come the United States hasn't been knocked down in so many ways that we should have, but the alignment of this pyramid is where all these different events happen. Hawaii, New Zealand, Indonesia. Whatever's in that parameter of lineal, lineal uh, electromagnetic flow. And then the Bermuda Triangle would be the epicenter of this. And even if you do micro, like let's say this is Africa, if you do uh, micro stargates, micro stargates there, this will be Iran in the middle. I wish I had a better explanation of this. I'm gonna do this one more time. <clears throat> so I'm on to something. Canada, North America, so it's Mexico, South America. Hawaii, New Zealand, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, Middle East, <laughs> Indonesia, Asia, and it's just interesting how however way you put it, there's a triangle, however way you put it. That's just what I'm trying to say is um, New Zealand was the big epiphany for me and I had a trigger. I was like, oh, Hawaii, Indonesia. There has to be. And then in the epicenter is the Bermuda Triangle. And then even from the Bermuda Triangle to the obelisk in Africa and obelisk in Washington, D.C. and London, you still have a triangle. Um, even if you were to go, oh, well, we'll just leave it at that. But in Iran, why the war? Because what do they have to offer? That was my epiphany. A 
it's the origins that we're going back to. Let's say if you had this war that was going on for so long on the outskirts of this place of all the... It's basically like a fight to either destroy the evidence or a battle to um, surface the evidence. And the proof of the pudding is... Um, you, you know how this is pride season? And in Pride season, there's all these rainbow flags and whatnot. Well, I was watching the Shira Star Goddess's video about, she had mentioned something in regard of Obama and his uh, eight years. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys know the numbers, this all is like coordinated. And how he had all these different legislatures to approve these different things to happen, like gay marriage and health care, da, 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 da. It's releasing, surfacing, it's allowing and permitting the release of information. So anytime you see a rainbow, it's supposed to be a reveal, right? So... That's why in the pride community, LGBTQ, they um, utilize the flag for uh, for reveal purposes. <clears throat> it's not just a, a random decision to use the rainbow flag and the rainbow represents us. I'm a gay man, so I could do that. Um, I don't really personally celebrate all that. It's really about how do I find a soulmate? Not find a soulmate, but how do I attract my soulmate to my life? Or is my soulmate... Anyways, I'll get more into that in a couple of days. Um, so this war in, in Iraq is basically um, a battle of <laughs> Armageddon, literally. And in my opinion, Battle of Armageddon happened. That was mythology. Greek mythology is the explanation of the Great War that happened. The Great War in Heaven. It already happened. But your clues and resin and um, answers are here. And you have a country um, who knows and has the info and details and everything. And they're like, nope. You guys despised us for years. You guys... Don't include us as the other bloodline of Abraham. So we're going to fight you to the bitter end. And I think there's some kind of confusion because we were told that Israel was the uh, was the uh, country, country or territory that was protected by God always. And that if anyone had dared to um, go into the Holy Land and destroy um, they will see wrath and fury and whatever and such and such. But I'm seeing that prophecy with Iran. I'm not seeing it with uh, Jerusalem because they're not in the picture. Uh, <clears throat> so something's off in our storyline. And I think we were derailed intentionally by told stories and people who translated them may have translated them wrong. Because Iran's undefeatable, and you wonder why. This is God's original holy land. This was the origins of the uh, construct of the root races, where the electric body became into physical uh, flesh vessel. If you guys follow what I'm saying. And this is why I'm seeing... It's kind of like subliminal. Why is uh, New Kids on the Block, uh, Spice Girls, um, Escape, all these old school groups that are Backstreet Boys. I heard someone say Backstreet Boys. Um, it, it's not like, oh, it's just a coincidence. And all these TV shows that are having reboots, it, the, the message is we're going back. We're going back. And so... I think because there is a Stargate, well, we already know. If you guys Google search, I'll put this in my description box below. If you do Stargate, uh, Stargate's Iran, 
you will see some pretty amazing photos. And that will be your proof that somebody has technology maybe to activate these or um, could be America because they have a lot of debt <laughs> and money. Or America and Iran are trying to prevent another country from coming in. I will show my face, but uh, I got to blow my nose. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, hope you guys understand what I'm saying, and uh, these allergies, this ascension process sucks, but that dream was gnarly, dude, and uh, I hope that channel message can open your eyes, people, that there's a bigger and greater uh, situation going on, and... Yeah, we're just going to see a big show uh, one of these days. So, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Happy Father's Day to all those cosmic fathers out there. Woo woo. Um, I'm a godfather, but that doesn't, it doesn't really count. But my godson just graduated high school, and he's going to be going to uh, um, the Air Force at the end of this year. So, all right, everyone, I'll talk to you later. Take care.